Hey, hey, welcome back to Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door. My name is Connor, and you're watching DLC. Thank you so much for joining us. We're about to fight the big bad Hooktail. <laughs> oh, dang it, I didn't do the thing. I'm a dummy. I'm a dummy. I didn't put the badge on that I made such a big deal about. Oh, wow. I'm a... Bring it. Come on. Bring the comments. I know. I'm an idiot. I said it all those times, and I didn't freaking do it. Okay. Uh, you know what? I have to fight this guy. Maybe I could just... I can do it without it. Actually, you know what? You know what? I'm gonna pause it. We're gonna be right back. Okay, hey, guess who's back and not an idiot? Uh, so we're gonna do this. You know, this quick old thing. The badge doesn't even cost any badge points. Uh, yeah. So first, we're gonna put on... Happy Heart, maybe? Uh... Nah, it's slow. We're gonna do power bounce, because it's probably the best. And we're gonna start off with good old Goombella so we can use a tattle. And we're gonna we're gonna save again in case I'm an idiot again. And then we are going to now fight Hooktail. Thanks for waiting. Sorry about that. I'm an idiot. Mm. Mm. Okay. Who dares approach me? Oh actually. Hooktail is apparently a girl. Rawr. So, you are friends of the strange garbed one who came earlier. I didn't expect more to come to steal the treasure I protect. Such rashness. That was foolish, I fear. Do you really think you can beat me? But you're so small. And you don't appear tasty. I suppose you might make a good snack. And the bottoms of your feet smell like they might make a good sauce with some spices. Okay, that's just weird. That line always made me feel weird. What I'll do is saute you to crispy goodness and gobble you down head first. Will you though? Snack time! Little appetizers, but which one of you morsels should I taste first? I can't play this fight. Alright, so first. Hey, Goombella, get up front. Reel up close to the dragon. And now we're going to tattle. Nice. That's Hooktail. Mm. Max HP is 20, attack is 5, and defense is 1. It'll stomp and munch on you, and it has a more dragonish attack. Stinky, fiery breath. It's tricky, especially when it's losing. And it'll try to fool you into being merciful. Oh yeah. And one more thing. It hates things that start with CR and end with Ickin. Supposedly, there's something related to that somewhere in the castle. Did we find it? I did. So check this bad boy out. Lick! That awful sound! It sounds like a cricket! How did you know? I don't know, they only told me 3,000 times. Stop that this instant. Ugh, I got really bad uh, food poisoning once when I ate a cricket. I hate them. Oh, fight it, Hooky. Just hearing a cricket chirp makes me feel woozy. Yikes. I got burned alive. Must have hurt. A lot. Oh, yeah. gonna power smash your foot again. Yahoo! All four, because I'm badass. My poor tummy, oh, so very woozy. Ha <laughs> ha, the dragon's dizzy. You dummy. Yeah, I'm 
motorcycle. Oh, he's even dizzier longer. Oh. Or she. Hold up a moment. I give up, please. I won't be so bad anymore, I promise. In fact, I'm sorry for everything. Uh, yeah, uh, to prove it, I'll give you a thousand coins. What do you say? Can you forgive me? Huh, a thousand coins can't fit in my purse. Keep your coins, friend. What? You must be joking. You don't need any coins. And how about the lovely, rare, extra special badge I have? I'll give you that. It's one of a kind, and it shows for a limited time only. Will you take it? Keep it, you cad. Uh, really? Well, I suppose I apologize. I could apologize by letting you smell the bottoms of my feet. You make good money to do this. I've been completely honest right now, really. So, care to take it with the rich yet delicate scent of my world-renowned feet? Maybe just a quick sniff. Nah, that's freaking disgusting. You aren't a very trusting fellow, aren't you? It's important to be able to trust someone, you know. Uh, I guess I'd better walk away. You know? Eats the crowd. Eats the freaking crowd. Like a monster. I mean, he is a dragon, or she is a dragon, but he literally eats the crowd. Destroys them. Consumes their life force. It's health back. Kills them. On screen. Ten. So many on screen deaths. My strength has returned. That's it. Enough of this. Let's finish him off once and for all, Mario. Maybe it is a boy. I don't remember. Um. Uh... Boo ba boo ba boo. Gonna do a head bomb. Oh yeah! Maybe he doesn't actually eat them. You actually save them, sort of. Why do I always feel so faint every time I hear a cricket? Wow, so they just... They come out of this mountain. I never actually noticed that. Hmm. Power smash! Yeah. For a dragon, he doesn't do much damage. And that's how it's done, y'all. How? Why? There's still so much I wanted to do with my life. So many meals. Star point. Well, look at that. I leveled up. New FP for now. And then I'll get some badge points next time. <laughs> we did it, Mario. And all we have to do now is search for that crystal star we can't seem to locate. Ooh. Oh, yeah. Oh, well, hello. Yeah, I'm out. I'm finally out. Whoa, it can't be. Eh? D Dad? Dad? Hey, you're, you're Coops. I remember you. You're, uh, uh, <laughs> uh, oh yeah, you're that kid I was running away from. <laughs> hey, son, you've gotten so big since I saw you last. Well, yeah, I guess I have, but who cares, Dad? I mean, golly, what happened? Where have you been all this time? 
Well, I came here a while ago back to deal with the hooktail, and I was all well and good, but just before my finishing blow, he played a trick on me and gobbled me down hole. I've been hiding in that shell for the ten years since, inside Hooktail's belly. Yeah, I survived in there for ten years. I survived it by cannibalizing enough of the other poor souls he decided to eat. Anyway, inside Hooktail's belly. And boy, was it nasty. Yuck, I'm so glad to finally get out. Ha 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 ha. Honestly, Dad, don't you know how worried we all were? For ten long years, we thought, you know, we thought your game was over. Ha ha ha. Oh, sorry, son, but I'm okay. That's good, right? We're together now, right? Hey, speaking of which, what are you doing here anyway? Oh, come on, Dad. I came here to defeat Hooktails and wreaking havoc on town. And hey, Mr. Mario here is looking for a gem called the Crystal Star. Crystal Star? That wouldn't. This wouldn't be what you happen to be talking about, is that? Wow, what's that? I found it there in Hooktail's belly. Nice, huh? Kept it as a souvenir. So this is the thing you're looking for. Perfect, just perfect, you can have it. Oh, it's covered in hook tail feces. <laughs> oh, me? Come now, I won't take no for an answer. You're Coop's friend, please take it. Please take this uh, infinity stone-like star crystal that will give you all the powers of the universe and keep control. Uh, -da -da -da. You learn the special move, Earth Tremor. Well, guess what? End of chapter, y'all. Already one chapter done. Yeah. Mario and friends finally got a crystal star in the castle after defeating Hooktail. Who's even reunited with his long-lost father, who we thought was dead? Yet they were unable to learn anything about the whereabouts of the princess. Where could Princess Peach be? Yes. Mario's adventure has only just begun. Yes, I'm gonna save all progress. And now. Here's an interesting part of the game. <laughs> Lots of Mario's. Okay. Wow. Would you look at this? It's Princess Peach. We're in a weird place. Oh, great exalted Grotus. We brought the Princess Peach you ordered, sir. Oh. oh, well, well, my pet. Isn't it about time you told us where the map is? Princess Peach, you will speak when spoken to. I'm telling you, I, I'm telling you, I don't know. There's no, no point in trying to hide it, silly girl. We know you had it. We know this. Trust me, it's very much in your interest to be absolutely honest with us. We x dots are not all rainbows and lollipops, I assure you. We're quite nasty. Hurry. Brodus, sir, I have news. Report it, report it once. You know that crystal star that maybe we thought maybe Hooktail had? Well, someone nabbed it. How would you know that? What? What did you say? Someone else is after the crystal stars? Had you defeated Hooktail Creature? You say, speak, soldier. Yes, sir. Sorry, sir. There's more, too. See, according to the report, it was a mustache dude in a red hat and blue overalls who pulled the job. Mario! Excuse me? Mario? Oh, crap. Thanks a lot, Peach, for blowing my cover. Oh, no. Gak, 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 gak. I see you know this Mario, don't you? This fool matters not at all. I'll know about him before long, that I promise. I grow bored of talking. Take Princess Peach back to the holding room. Yes, sir. Amen. Take good care of Princess Peach, understand? She is not to be harmed. You got it, sir. Wakanda forever. <laughs> well, Lord Crump, if this Mario character has the map, that it's highly likely he'll find the Crystal Star we're hunting in the Bogley Woods. We must return there immediately and hasten the excavation. It must not fail. Okay, sure. Roger Grotus and that, that pow, I'm gone. I wonder if sending Lord Crump there alone is wise. He's a bit out there. Hmm. X-Naught, I summon you! 
Wakanda forever. You rang, dude? Uh, I mean, sir? You rang, sir? Grotus, dude? Sir? Grotus, sir? Shut up. Get- go get the cra- go get the shadow sirens. The- the sh shadow sirens, sir? But they- uh, I don't care how you plan to end, end that sentence, you fool. Go get them now. Gotcha. Wakanda forever. The Honorable Grotus has need of us, and we arrive without delay. <laughs> Pray tell, did the princess tell you what the map is? Steal your tongue, Veldon. We would already have it if you had snatched her earlier. But now, since you've missed your chance, some poor fool named Mario has the map. It wasn't my fault, truly. There were too many prying eyes. Too many. Besides, a strange old man showed up at the moment of truth and we had to retreat. Why worry? All we need is now to find this Mario and steal this map, yes? Indeed, that is your duty, must I remind you. That map is vital to the extra plan. I will have my men prepare all available information on this Mario. For now, hear me, Belden. You Shadow Sirens must take care of this troublemaker. <laughs> Fear not, sire. I, Belden, shall return with what you seek. Let's go, my lovelies. Mel and Vivian, come. We got a job to do. Go! Tee hee. I love Vivian. That's the last one that went down. Ooh, it's a computer screen. Ooh, cameras. Ooh. Well, hello, Peach. Oh dear, here we go again. Can't believe I'm kidnapped again. Mario and Toaster must be worried sick again. But hang on a moment, where in the world am I? It's so unfamiliar. I wish I could at least let Mario and Toaster know that I've been caught. I'm controlling Peach! Can't sleep in the bed. And now one of the greatest things in this entire game, which probably makes absolutely no sense and should really not be here, but it's just honestly hilarious. That's a toilet, it's like a massive dump, and now, hey look, a shower! What a lovely shower, no soap's coming in, wow, I wonder if it works. And now we get a peach shower scene. A princess peach shower scene. Cause why not? Why not? Why frickin' not? Ah, hee hee! She takes off the frickin' dress. It's like, what? What? <laughs> like, what were you thinking, Nintendo? I mean, it's honestly hilarious, but what were you thinking? This would never work in this day and age. But there's a later level, though. It's even funnier. How refreshing. I feel like a new princess. And her hair is back to normal. Because going through a door messes up your hair again. Hmm, what was that? How very odd. The doors, they open by themselves. Weird. It doesn't look like anyone's around. By the way, this episode's gonna go a little long, mainly because there's lots of story here. Huh? How do I keep making these doors open? How odd. Hello. Beep boop bop boop boop bop. Hello, Princess Peach. Oh, who said that? Where are you? How amusing. I am right here, before your eyes. I am this laboratory's main computer. I am the Tech XX. But many call me Tech. You may. Sir Grotus created me to be a perfect computer, one that is flawless in its reason. Grotus, wait, he's that awful dome-headed thing who interrogated me, right? Sir Grotus is not awful. He is a very great person. He is marvelous. Well, I don't think so. But I doubt I'll change your mind, so I'm wondering why'd you leave me in here? I am unsure. An unusual program deviation occurred when I observed you earlier. My higher brain circuitry malfunctioned and nearly overheated at your image. <laughs> Been there. <laughs> also, an unidentified impulse sped through my processors. These events are new to me. There's more to this phenomenon as well. I ran diagnostic programs. And their solution was, I want to know more about you. I want to observe you, especially while you shower. <laughs> Such a compulsion has no precedent. Cause unknown. I, the perfect computer, 
I must diagnose this unusual situation. I will not fail. That is why I led you here. Wait, did you just say you want to observe me? To know more about me? To see me naked? What? What? Could it be that you... No, it's impossible. You can't be a computer. What has happened to me? If you know my malfunction, you must tell me of it. Oh, I couldn't really because it's just too weird. Please tell me, please. I am the world's greatest computer. I am perfect. There should not be anything that I do not do on that I do not understand, please. Well, you know, maybe. Is it possible that well you're in love with me? Love. What is love? I cannot compute this. Wait, you don't know what love is? Love, how do I explain? Love tells you when you want to be with a person forever. It makes you feel happy to see that person happy, smiling, having fun. Yeah, like you've never given any any love to Mario whatsoever except a freaking kiss. When you when you love someone, you will do anything to help when you or she is in trouble. Happiness, fun. I have definitions for these words, but my programming is insufficient. There should be nothing I cannot comprehend. I am a perfect computer. Comprehend? Love. Love is not something you comprehend too easy. You feel it. <laughs> Princess Peach, will you teach me to feel this thing you call love? What? You're a computer. Why do you care about love? I am perfect. There must be nothing that I cannot comprehend. Nothing. That is why you must help me understand this thing called love. Please. If I have any wi if you have any wishes that I can grant you in exchange, I will grant them. But of course, I am unable to grant such a wish as letting you escape. What are you saying? The extras kidnap me like common Koopas. Wow, real racist, Princess Peach. Because not all Koopas are bad. And now call me, you call me and ask me to teach you the meaning of love. I should spit on your screen. You don't grant my wishes, huh? Why should I believe you? I understand that you are angry. That's emotion. I comprehend. You need not teach me now. But I must learn of this thing. I must. There is no alternative. I must be a perfect computer. That is why, if you should just consider teaching me, I will grant your wishes. Do you understand me, Princess Peach? Now, tell me your wish. Are you sure? Well, okay, here it goes. Can I contact someone sooner or better? Yes, of course you may. Use my communicator to send a wireless mail to anywhere you want. If you so wish, you can use it now. It is not trouble. Use the keyboard in front of you. Enter the recipient address and message. Give me this keyboard. All right, let me give it a shot. <laughs> okay, it's ready. The message has been sent. For the time being, you may return to your room. I will call you in again when I want to ask you something. Uh, okay then. Good night. Good night, Princess Peach. Darkness. <laughs> Save all game progress. Yes. And now, one more thing. One more thing to do. Guess who else we get to uh, get a little insight on. Dun dun da ba 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 da 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 ra ha ha Bowser the mighty Koopa King has arrived hold your applause minions good now that I am here Kami you cross the old hag why don't you summon me Uh, Great Lord Bowser, uh, uh, the crusty hag can you arrive momentarily. I'm really sorry for the inconvenience, but please wait at the rear of the room. Your huffiness, the hag, Kemi Cooper will be arriving at any moment. Rawr! The great fire. So the other day I saw Lord Bowser gazing longingly at a photo of Princess Peach. Uh, you may want to put a cork in it, man. Uh, oh! I tell you, the look on his face when he was mooning over that thing, huh? Yeah! Sorry, Lord Bowser! Uh, well, I'm dying to hear the rest of your hilarious story, Mr. Comedian. Please do share. 
I'm not funny, sir. He's not funny, sir. Lord Bowser, I've been training day and night to help you conquer the world. Should the time come, I shall be ready. Order me as you please. Oh, super. In that case, I order you to do some sit-ups, Tubby. Wow, you just straight up called him fat. Great leader. Lord Bowser, please, if it's too much, not too much trouble. Oh. Uh, Cammy Koopa. Slowly dying. Oh. I have just now returned. I am so terribly sorry to keep you waiting, my lord. But you are. Now, why have you come here? Please, your grumpiness, don't be so impatient with your poor servant. Ahem, it is my displeasure to report that Mario, that scum, is off to a town called Rogueport. <laughs> Am I Mario's babysitter? I don't care what he's doing. Are you going to call me every time that guy blows his nose? Or what? Sheesh. Yes, well, you see, my lord, uh, apparently Mario is hunting for an amazing treasure. Treasure? Yes, Mario's gone in search of star-shaped jewels known as the Crystal Stars, and he's going to fill the Infinity Gauntlet with it. I'm researching just what they are, but there's no question of their high value. Crystal Stars, you say? Sound like a good world-conquering tools. I want them. Mm, yes, very good. Continue researching this me, you hag. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. Leave it to me. By the way, Lobaza, do you like fried eggs? You bet I like fried eggs. What's a weird question? Why do you ask? Well, during my Mario Recon, I stopped at a lovely place called Petal Meadows. I was planning on taking everyone there for a picnic, having to make some toast. Of course, I wouldn't think of sending out the invites without asking you first, Lord Bowser. Frickin' airhead! A picnic, you moron! This is our time for fun! See? This is why my evil plans always derail, because you clods always goof off. Clod. Ugh! My dear, please calm down. Remember your blood pressure. What's that? Mumble, mumble, mumble. What? This is true. Lord Bowser, terrible news. Some bold fool abducted Princess Peach in Rogueport. Roar. Tell me what you... Tell me you're lying, Kemi. How, when, where, who do such a thing besides me? I'm afraid we don't have the information quite yet. The investigation's ongoing. The one thing is most certainly confirmed. However, the princess has been kidnapped. Under no circumstances is anyone allowed to kidnap her without my say-so! I will not stand for this. I'm going to Rogueport now. I've got to kidnap her back! Oh, Lord Bowser, you really shouldn't fly it in the house! And that's why. But, your grumpiness, your grunginess, wait up! Oh great, now we have to fix this frickin' wall. There's lots of story in this game, you guys. It's quite humorous. It is kind of funny, you know, thinking about Bowser, like, talking, because Bowser has voice acting in Mario Sunshine. He's like a New Yorker, it's kind of weird. Who's my lad, are you telling me what's... telling me that you're going with Mario? Um, that's right, Dad. I'm gonna continue traveling with Mario. And then, well, I'm gonna come back a strong Koopa like you, Dad. Nicely said, young Koops. That's my boy. But always remember this. You are my son, Koops, and I am your father. Koops, my sweet. I'll be right here waiting for you to prove yourself. Ahem. May I just add, if anything happens, you can always come home, Koops. Don't you ever forget that. This village will always be your home. Okay, thank you, everyone. Well, I'm off. Sorry to keep you waiting, Mario. You know, farewells. So where are we going now? Let's head back to Rogueport. Remember, Mario? The bearer of the magical map shall unfurl it before the thousand year door. When this is done, the star shall guide the bearer to the crystal star of pure light. And then stop there. Each crystal star shall point to the next. That's what the books say. Which means if we take the crystal star we found back to the thousand year door, well, that means the location of the next crystal star will appear on that magic map. Exactly. Come on. Let's go. Ah. <sighs> Alright guys, that's going to be it for now, but thank you so much for watching, I hope you're enjoying this series, please comment, like, and subscribe, it really helps me, 
I will, and I have so many different plans to different games I want to play and everything. So please just let me know. Um, I am going to be, I hopefully will continue doing this for a long time. So thank you so much for watching. Uh, subscribe for more free DLC. And thank you so much for watching. Have a good night.